three quarters of a million light cars. Bumper to bumper and four abreast, they would stretch from London to Edinburgh. That is the measure of Ford's experience in the production of light cars in the past. And all that experience has been concentrated in the design and production of their outstanding new products. The new Anglia and the new Prefect. First light cars in the five-star class. The Dagenham factory, largest self-contained plant in Europe, is located on Thames side. Most raw materials are brought by water. Ford makes its own iron, rolls its own steel, produces its own gas and electricity. both at home and overseas, may not realize the greater value for money they get through these economies in manufacture. And through the free use of the lowest cost transport of all, water. Cost is an important factor in the choice of a new car. But until you have driven one of the additions to the five-star range, and until you have ridden in the rear seats as a passenger, you cannot fully appreciate the immense advantages shown by them in suspension, road holding, acceleration and comfort. Five-star motoring became available with the Consul and Zephyr 6. In the new Angler and Prefect, entirely new chassis and body designs have placed luxury light cars within reach of all motoring. An attractive front aspect. Large diameter steering wheel, conveniently raked. Hydraulic clutch operation with all its smoothness and precision. No cold blasts in winter or hot air in summer from these pendant pedals and a convenient but unobtrusive handbrake. This parcel tray will take a full size dress box, handbag as well as other articles. and the back seat accessibility is excellent. Plenty of room for three in the back, more than in many larger bodied cars. Add to these advantages the new independent front suspension. Watch in slow motion and see how little the occupants are affected by the six inch bump. Yes, very, very nice. Uh, the new Anger, I mean. Now for the new Prefect. Yes, even nicer, with its comfortable four-door body. Let's look around. Front. Side. The doors are fitted with retaining catches to hold them open if required. The bonnet is released from the driver's seat and hinges forward. It can be locked in a completely vertical position, allowing full access and light to the engine compartment. Accessibility is a major point. Regular service of any car pays big dividends in maintenance costs, and garage service costs are reduced accordingly. Note the independent front wheel coil suspension with built-in hydraulic shock absorbers. The jacking system is simple, effective and easy to operate.
the headlamps and separate side lamps are typical of the functional beauty of all details. This curved safety glass windscreen eliminates reflections, gives excellent visibility. Note the twin wipers. The curved rear window gives wide visibility and eye-pleasing form. No twisted ankles or slipped discs getting into these accessible rear seats with the cutaway at the base of the front seat. The handles are designed so that a downward pressure locks the door. And for your holiday luggage, there is 10 cubic feet capacity. It is only half full, but count these suitcases. And wide enough to take a bag of clubs without difficulty. Now for headroom. Six inches clear here. The curved screen gives excellent driving visibility. Let's go for a run. Note the finger light steering. Both the new Anglia and Prefect have the remarkably small turning circle of the inner car. An advantage to every driver, every day. Wonderful stability is achieved by the low center of gravity. and the rigidity of the body is clearly demonstrated by the way the doors open and close without the slightest difficulty under these conditions. Plenty of room for even a large family. with security precautions worthy of atomic research. Prototypes of these new cars have had the equivalent of five years hard driving on Ford testing track. These pictures speak for themselves. Now for the stability test. At 50 miles an hour, right hand down, left hand down, right, left, right. Now watch the tires. They never leave the ground under treatment that would overturn other cars. Really safe braking. Admittedly, tires and brake linings would cost a lot in maintenance if the car was normally driven like this but it's good to know that it's there if needed. and in reverse. Note the steadiness of the body of this car while it has been driven over rough surfaces. Watch in slow motion. And note the effectiveness of the coil springs and hydraulic shock absorbers. and again.
These prototypes have been put through far severer trials than any production models are ever likely to meet with in any part of the world. Before these cars were planned, Ford Research found out what the public wanted. And here are some typical views expressed by people who have since tried the new models. I'm quite satisfied with what they'll do. I've ordered the new Prefect because I like its styling inside and out. And so does my wife. Also, I think it's good business to be seen in a handsome car. I'm one of the test drivers you have just seen. I've lived with these cars, driving them the equivalent of over five years of motoring. I know what they'll do, what they'll stand up to, and I've got my name down for one. I'm not a very good driver. I want one of the new models because they are easy and safe to drive. I don't like admitting it, but the new Anglia makes me look like a good driver. I'm a large-sized chap with a large family. Large in every sense of the word. I've ordered a new Prefect. We all ride in it with comfort. And it's easy to get in and out of its wide doors. And that shows you the room in the luggage compartment. I helped to make this film. And like everybody who has had anything to do with the new Anglia and the new Prefect, the stars of this picture, I am convinced they are both leaders in the light car class. In the words of the poet, how happy could I be with either?